think we are already having it introduced, whether we like it or not. So earlier uh, in this season, I had uh, a little experiment with the children. I gave them a small uh, documentation to read from the internet just to see how they learn and read some technical documentation. And then there was a short quiz at the end to see whether they actually understood anything from that uh, little tutorial. And I can find out quite easily that some of the children used AI, ChatGPT in particular, to answer that quiz because one of the answers that they gave was wrong. And I had about four or five children who gave exactly the same wrong answer. So AI is already part of uh, what we do because the children are already using it and I think they are using it better than we are at the moment. Uh, there's a philosophy here. What is the purpose of education? Is it to make uh, the new generation of workforce for the industry? Or are we trying to create a common culture that we can all benefit uh, from living in? And I think the industry is going to handle the, the preparation of the workforce better than any teacher can, because teachers are always, by definition, dealing with older material. And right now the technology is moving too fast for older books to be used in any sort of uh, educational uh, context. So I think what we need to do at the lower level of education is to focus on culture and create something, uh, a basic understanding of the, of the foundations for anything. So I think we need to teach addition by hand and not how to use a computer on your phone to do 2 plus 2. And this applies to, to AI as well. As I said earlier, AI is being used by the children, whether we want it or not, but we need to teach the children how to solve problems without AI. The first step in solving a problem is accepting and understanding that it is a problem. And here we as mentors, parents, teachers, that is our responsibility to find out what the problems are and sharing them with our children and our mentees. But the second step is just as important and it is to find out whether the problem is a people problem or a technical problem. And I think AI is definitely going to help on solving technical problems because that's where we're using it right now to great success, I'd say. The interesting part is whether we're going to use AI to solve uh, people problems. And a light reading of the local sci-fi uh, shelf at any bookstore says that it can go to hell or to heaven. I think we're going to go someplace in the middle, but still it's going to be an interesting thing to, to see. I'm not a PM. I'm actually a software developer. I'm a consumer of PM services. So if I were mean, I would say it can't get any worse. But honestly, being a PM is a very difficult job. They're trying to solve all sorts of problems and predict the future. So I think any sort of tools they might get to help them in their job, they're more than welcome to use them and I really hope the best for them.